Head eye allergy typically appears around the, the periphery of where you're doing the hair dyeing. That's the first sign that you will get, not on the scalp, but on what's called the glabrous skin, around the, the peripheral edges and maybe where hair dye happens to run. Now, I'm not telling you that because that's interesting clinically, it's interesting toxicologically because, of course, here, the dose of the hair dye goes onto the hair, mostly. But just at the edge, there is no hair anymore, so the dose goes onto the skin. That's why the first signs of hair dye allergy, and especially weak reactions, will occur on the edges. The surface area of the hair is often a hundred times or more than a hundred times the surface area of the skin. So the vast majority of the hair dye applied to the hair goes to the hair surface, not onto the scalp. But off the edges, there's nowhere else for it to go except the skin. That's where you get the responses there. Or you might get them behind the ear or where it drains down um, from the ears, as in this individual. Uh, the reactions can be much more severe. They can be a very, very florid erythema, as you can see, and swelling in, in this lady. Or with relatively modest amounts of erythema, but a lot of angioedema, that's swelling within the skin. So this um, poor lady, I think his Danish lady, had a lot of swelling around the eyes, uh, one eye being closed, shut by the, the swelling, and the same in this individual. Um, you can get something called cross reactions as well. So once you have uh, a hair dye allergy, you might react to the dyes coming out of dark colored shoes, for example. There are a whole bunch of other chemicals to which you may also react. Less commonly, perhaps, um, but certainly it can occur.